Greetings fellow humans and welcome to another Writer Wednesday with J.D. Estrada where I take random questions that you ask on any social media platform that I participate in and I answer them as earnestly and as honestly as possible without editing so that you don't think that I'm, I'm, I'm overthinking things. I try to shoot from the hip and, and be as honest and as me as possible. So today's question comes from the Writing Sisters, uh, Lauren, Adela, and Nicole, fellow poets and authors. Lovely, 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 lovely poets. Um, and I owe them a poem for their anthology, which I will get to the next couple of days uh, over over Thanksgiving meals and stuff. So the question, what do you do when you're stuck and need ideas? Okay, this is, we need to take the glasses off. There's so many ways that you can unpack this. So when... <clears throat> When you need ideas and when you're stuck, those are two different things. Um, and ideas can apply to either poems or short stories or novels. So fortunately, or unfortunately, my my brain is a carnival and it's nonstop and it's like that, 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 and it's always it's it's always going at a fast clip. Um, sometimes I have to force myself to slow down so that I can just function. <laughs> and other times. Uh, that, that 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 tension actually helps me out but um that is a long way long roundabout way of saying that um I'm, I'm honestly never never have a shortage of ideas and actually i have the opposite uh problem i have too many ideas and sometimes i gotta cut some stuff out because there's just so much that i'm throwing the kitchen sink at it it's like dude save something for later um but um let's let's look at it and in, in poems and short stories and novels let's start with novels um with novels um specifically the human cycle i already have two two of the novels down i'm working on the third one that's I, that's what i've been working on during the month of november and what i have for each of those books is first off i have the outline so i have an idea of what's going on <clears throat> and i'll i'll talk about the process for this novel uh because it's been it's been a completely different process, and it just shows that I, I had to get back into my groove to do things properly. All of that said, um, for each of these novels, I have a dump file. And when I say that I have a dump file, it, it's a file with 120, 150 pages of random information. Um, random information works for me in the sense that, okay, I'm writing something, something's not clicking, I go like, ah... It needs something. I open this file, I scroll up, I scroll down. Well, let's say I land on page 38. I read whatever's on page 38 and I go like, eh, not, not so much. Scroll up and scroll down, scroll up, scroll down, and then I'm on page 71. And then I see a bit of information that I go like, oh, that's interesting. And then I, I start, rather than, than focusing on the plot hole that I have or the, the, what's not flowing in the plot for me, the um, the situation becomes me pondering, okay, how can I include this to bridge that gap and solve that problem and make it interesting and make it unique? It's, it's really fun for me. So how do I go about uh, compiling that information? Literally, I look up stuff from history, stuff from mythology, stuff from religions, um, religions, plural, um, for, for the human cycle specifically, it's seeing where um, Judaism and Christianity and Islam and Hinduism overlap and different things and names of angels and stuff that, like that that you go like, what the hell? Um, I look for information on topography and history and geography. I look for information on on how things are now and how things were 10, 20, 30 years ago. Uh, to give you an example, uh, there, there's a scene that is that is in the Persian Gulf. Um, Persian Gulf. They, there's a lot of coverage there, and it's a lot of a lot of stuff has happened there. And this is me being as big and as ambiguous as possible, because depends depending on where you look for information, you're gonna find different things. <clears throat> um, from nearby gulfs to straits that are in the region to actually nature reserves in Kuwait and um, 
oceanfront villages that are being developed in Kuwait. And you go like, what? Um, and you know, there, there are some, some areas there that they want to push it to be like another Dubai. And it's fascinating because when you hear about the Persian Gulf and when you hear about Kuwait, depending on where you're from and what you've been exposed to, you might have one perspective and it, it is probably extremely limited. Mine is extremely limited and just skimming the top of some information. I was like, wow, there's a lot of interesting stuff in that region. Um, that makes sense with my story. So if you're doing a historical fantasy, just reading stuff that happened in, in that, in that area and, um, or in that, in that era is definitely going to help you out. If you're writing horror, uh, looking up real life horror stories and stuff that happens that you go like, oh, that's gruesome and awful, but awesome for my story. And you see where you can call ideas from. And it doesn't have to be the complete thing. It can be an element. So maybe there's there's an explosion that I don't know what happened. And the fifth floor of that building um, was was the only floor that, that stayed intact for some reason. And from there, what you can glean is that try to imagine a huge explosion. And then there's a reduced region that nothing happened there. What's the explanation for that? And that's just me spitballing off the top of my head. And that's for a novel. <clears throat> for a short story, <coughs> um, I personally try to write in one go, two goes, try to keep it as, as, as compartmentalized as possible, that experience of me writing that short story. Um, I always try to get like two or three hours to write um, specifically for a short story and not, fo not think of anything else, you know, phones are off, um, whatever, and just focus on that. If I like what I see on the page, that's fantastic. If I need ideas, um, what's the topic? What's, what's the driving force behind the character? What, what are the, the that character's fears? Um... And then there's all, there's also your personal experience. What can you pull from your personal experience um, to push forward your your story or your idea? Uh, fortunately, I've had a lot of random stuff happen to me in my life, and I can call a lot from from my random ass life, um, and that's cool. For poetry, how I go about poetry. Um, it could be either I want to base it off a word or a topic, or I, I think of a really good verse or a really good line, and I go like, wow, man, that's, that's a good line. Maybe it's not the first one, maybe it's not the last one, but maybe it's the sixth one. So I put it on a page, and I go like, okay, I want to, I want to write a poem that's 16 lines, 20 lines, 22 lines, whatever. Whatever random arbitrary number. And then what normally happens is that you start writing, it's either shorter or longer than what you said it was, because that's how your brain works sometimes um and then the, the most important thing you know you need ideas then you need a pool you need to capture those ideas so how do you capture those ideas there are so many ways of capturing ideas from a napkin to notes on your phone to documents on your computer to whatever whatever way you can capture an idea um use those means and use what works for you fortunately i also have a pretty good memory and if not i would i would be very very frustrated because there are some great ideas that i've been able to latch on long enough until i finally put it down on paper and it's like dude why did you wait so long anyways this has gone nine minutes but i hope that you enjoyed this honest earnest and in-depth answer uh, lauren and nicole and to anyone else who has a question and a random point, by the way, I do hope that I answered your question and gave you some ideas of how to get more ideas and not be stuck. Uh, another thing to not be stuck, talk to people. Talk to people, talk to writers. Um, and what, what sometimes happens is like, man, I have this problem. Okay, what's the problem? You say the problem, and it's like, but I can do this. Very often, while you're, ex while you're explaining the problem to someone, a solution comes as soon as you finish explaining it. It's like, oh, really? Why didn't you come by before? But it's just something that happens. Anyways, I already reached to 10 minutes. But if you have a question, you can use this platform, your social media platform of preference. You can direct message me 
or whatever works best and ask away anything that's on your mind. So till next time, hope you enjoy this and peace, love and my girls.